Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the time capsule and pulling out a classic, the Nexus 5. Released back in 2013, this phone was a game changer back then. But the question remains, how does it hold up in 2024? So let's find out. Let's start with the design. So the Nexus 5 actually fully built of plastic. There is no metal use at all. So as you can see here, usually there is a Nexus logo here and also the LG logo here. Although this device is called like Google Nexus 5, actually it's built by LG. Problem with this device actually, there was a rubberized coating on this device. It was quite messy because of 10 years of uses. So the, the rubber here actually melted down and I had to remove that and I use a carbon fiber skin, just wrap it there. Uh, it feels good now so the display here is actually 4.95 inch full hd ips display and the display is quite good although it is not really like today's device but the display is quite good for 2013 device rather than that we also got a front camera which is 1.2 megapixel and on top there is a 3.5 mm headphone jack left hand side we have our volume rockers and right hand side we have our power buttons and sim tray on the bottom we got a micro usb port and the speaker hole and microphone hole and on the back we are getting 8 megapixel autofocus ois camera which is quite decent for back then the device is very compact as you can see here and i really like the design actually uh, the bezels are quite similar all around and as a 5 inch device it doesn't look very big and also not very small i really like the design here and it's very compact also for one hand users this this device is quite good so going with other things if i talk about the specs so being a 2013 device it was a flagship device of 2013 so, so it got a snapdragon 800 processor which is quad core processor and also 2 gig of ram and 16 32 gig or 64 gig variant by the way mine one here is 16 gig variant other than that there is one thing which actually make this device Google device because it got stock UI unlike LG's other device which come with their own UI with a lot of customization but here you are getting pure stock UI and because of that actually this device still runs pretty smoothly so going with the about phone as you can see the Nexus 5 and it's running on Android 6.0.1 6.0.1 is not really that bad right now it is still quite supported and almost all the application does work but i don't think in next or year or two it will be that much usable but there is other way like you can install custom rom on this device unlike lg devices bootloader unlocking process is pretty simple for google devices and installing custom rom is pretty easy there are plethora of custom ROM available for Nexus 5. As you can see here, the UI is still smooth and runs pretty well as you can see here. Everything if you open an application, as you can see, it's pretty fast. Obviously, it will be not that fast like today's device. But if you think about 10 years old device, the performance you are getting from this device is pretty decent. Let's talk about the camera being a google device so the camera application here is actually google one so it's pretty decent camera actually the 8 megapixel camera does take pretty decent picture and also it shoot uh, in hdr plus mode as you can see here hdr plus and if you toggle the hdr plus mode it will take a little bit more than usual time but it is not really that much and also you can shoot 1080p videos with the back camera and front camera only 720p so the camera is still usable and it takes decent photos and i will put some of the sample pictures in there you can check out
Now let's talk about the battery. Admittedly, this is where Nexus 5 shows its age with its 2300 mAh battery you will definitely need to keep that charger handy and especially if you are heavy user but it also got wireless charging so if you are into it you can charge it wirelessly too and yes it is not really that great right now being a 10 years old device it will struggle like going through whole day even in normal uses but it's still quite usable i will say and it's still decent performer now let's talk about customization of this device so there is nothing much going on with this device unlike lg devices so if you used lg devices lg devices used to come with a lot of customization but being a google device the ui is pretty simple so there is no customization i will say so there is barely you can do anything like tweaking anything here so if you go to display section there is nothing much going on sound nothing much there is nothing actually in terms of customization so pretty boring but as i said custom roms are available so you can easily unlock the bootloader flash twrp and flash custom rom even i'm going to do so so i will be uploading few custom roms for this device in my future videos so keep eye on my channel if you are really into google nexus 5 let's talk about the gaming and performance so in daily uses i didn't really find any problem with this device actually it does work and all the application i really need for my users all are available although it's running on android 6.0.1 but the all the application i really use all are available even the bank apps i use is still available for android 6 so i'm not having any issue with the uses and youtube is also working here so youtube spotify everything is working but gaming cannot be done here because obviously it cannot handle the latest games but older titles like temple run subway surfer those games will work perfectly fine here but not really like pubg and free fire and all those games not really a gaming phone right now so now is the nexus 5 is still worth in 2024 actually it depends on your needs obviously you can't use this device as a primary device right now as a secondary device this device still does make sense because as i said all the application does work perfectly fine being a google device or stock device the device actually runs pretty smoothly unlike other android 6 based devices and you are getting decent camera here that megapixel camera does work perfectly fine and pretty much still usable device and one thing about this device actually is that it is very handy device and it works very well so that's all about nexus 5 thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time